What's wrong with it? It's so stinky. It's so stinky? But what is that? This, oh my goodness, I think Lucas just died from this giant claw. All right, well today we're gonna make lobster cakes. I guess it's sort of like a crab cake. We found this giant claw, should I open it? Let, no. Let's see it move. Oh, it got my hand! <gasps> you wanna touch the teeth here? All right, Douglas came down to check it out. Whoa. Look, it moves. Put your hand there. <laughs> it might bite you. You want to touch it? Here, you can touch the tooth. No, it's too scary. What do you mean it's too scary? <laughs> okay, put your hand out. Okay, no, scared me all. No. <laughs> 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 I'm coming to get you. Chomper, chomper, chomper. You running away? Don't you want to see what it looks like on the inside? Speaking of which, how are we going to get it to crack open? With a knife. Hmm. I don't know how you're supposed to cut that open though. Well, I don't know, but this is like a big old thing. All right, let's see how we can crack it open. Let's get a picture of Lucas by it first. Well, Lucas is running away because this is so stinky apparently. And we got a mallet to try to open up this giant crab claw. So yeah, right there. it's scored, but I think I need to get like a saw or something because this thing. Is not cracking. be a problem if we can't crack it open. How about on the back side? Oh, a little bit of crack. Did that crack a little bit? Keep hitting it there. Oh, we cracked it. Lucas, come look. I cracked the claw in the front. Let's see if we can crack, or in the back. Let's see if we can crack in the front. So the secret is to get a mallet. And I crack it open. Holy smokes. Look at that meat. Well, somehow we're gonna have to take this giant claw meat out of here into our crab cake. All right, let's try to put that all in there somehow. All right, I massacred the claw. Required a couple of tools to pick stuff out of there and out of there. Lucas ran away because it smelled so stinky. That is the claw. You can see the claw meat over here. And we got a mallet and we had to take that out and we had to pick this, this meat out. So we're gonna try to pick the uh, knuckle here. Well, that's about, uh, well, that's about two pounds of claw meat that we were able to get out of that giant claw. So what we're gonna do is um, add some breadcrumbs to this as we begin our crab cakes. We have plenty of blood breadcrumbs in the house, so we're probably just gonna make a couple of cakes here. And we're gonna bind this together probably with some uh, egg and uh, put some onions in here. Uh, give some of this lobster a little bit of taste. So. Let's go ahead and shape this up a little bit more. 
All right, we got some eggs in there. We use some Dijon mustard as well. Give us a little bit of flavor. There we go. Add some Old Bay seasoning. Um, Old Bay seasoning. Pepper and some salt. Maybe this is the last of my salt. I'm having a hard time getting the last of it out. There you go. Some fresh lemon juice. I have one here. Plenty of these at Costco the other day. Always like a little bit of fresh lemon in my water. And if we have fresh lemons, why not squeeze them? Okay. For a little bit of color, we're gonna add a little bit of, I don't have any Italian parsley, but got some cilantro in the fridge. So we'll make do with what we have. Be kind of an Asian flair. So a little bit there. Okay, I added a couple of dollops of uh, mayo that I had left in the fridge and then also some eggs to bind this all together. So now here comes the fun part. Um, basically, turning this into a dough and mixing it all together with the crab should almost be dough-like consistency as we mix all this together into the crab cake. Reminds me of almost like stuffing. So I wanna make sure that this is nice and moist that we can fry this as patties, basically. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and knead this all up with two hands, and we'll make them into little patties in a second here. So I um, made them into patties, and this is what we're these jumbo lobster cakes. And I was able to make with kind of that two and a half pound claw, 16 of these, so that's pretty good uh, proportion there. We are going to pan fry some of these up for dinner and see how they taste. Let's see if Lucas thinks they're still that stinky uh, after he eats the lobster in big crab chunks. Or big lobster chunks, I guess. All right, thanks. Here we are frying up the crab cakes. With a little bit of oil on a pan. And this really needs something it's a little dry to finish off uh, the crab cake, like an aioli. I don't got that, but we had some salsa for dinner tonight, so smothered in salsa. It soaks up a little bit of that extra fluid with the breadcrumbs, which are otherwise a little dry. I think in the future I'd use panko rather than regular breadcrumbs. It keeps it a little less dense. Uh, blah, blah, is what you're going to say to my crab cake. Well, there's the crab cake. I'm not a little dry. It's not even a crab cake. It's a lobster cake. Look, there's some chunks of lobster in there. It's yuck. It's yuck. Try you don't want to try it? Yes. No, the lobster. Yuck. That's just the lobster. Eat the lobster. <laughs> blah. 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 Okay, eat the lobster. You don't eat the lobster? It's gross. It's gross. Try a little bit. Uh, uh, I only like 
crab. This is crab. It's his brother. I'll give you an hour of screen time if you eat it. Uh, On the weekend. I can't, I can't. Three, two, one. I get all scared. So. It poisoned you. Uh. Ouch. Our screen time. What's inside? This is just crab. I remember I used to eat it and then I didn't like it. Lobster. Two. <laughs> one. Yes, you're eating it. It's lobster. <laughs> well, note to self. We're not buying $26 lobster claws anymore for four year old boys. Because it ends up on the ground on a McRib cake. It's okay. Everybody else will eat it.